To get started creating a Screencastify submit assignment for Google Classroom, you'll start from the Submit dashboard at app.screencastify.com submit. You can also navigate here using the extension in your browser. Let's get started by clicking New Assignment. Since we're exploring the Google Classroom integration with Screencastify Submit, we'll want to select that option, then click Next. Now we have some options for how students record their video submissions. They can record just their screen, just their webcam, or both. In this instance, I'll select both. But remember, regardless of what you select, students will not need Screencastify installed on their computer to record a video and submit it to you. Now click Next. Next, give the assignment a title and add some instructions. Both of these will appear as part of the assignment in Google Classroom. Then click Next. Now you'll choose the class for which you want to assign, as well as the students that you want to assign this to. It could be all of your students, or you could just select some. You can change the point value of the assignment, the due date, and the topic under which it's assigned. Once you're happy with all of the settings, you can choose to assign this assignment immediately or schedule it for later. I'm going to go ahead and assign this right now. Congratulations, we've just created an assignment on Google Classroom for our students to enter video submissions. We can click View on Classroom to view how this assignment will show up for our students. As a student, when I click on the assignment in my Google Classroom, I'll see the link to Screencastify Submit where I can record my response. As a student, all of the settings have been pre-recorded for me, so all I'll need to do is click Record to get started. I'll select the screen I'd like to share, get a brief countdown, and then I'm ready to go. On the ship, Sam, Dad, and I take a trip on a ship. We take a cab to the ship and get on. The ship is big and there is a lot to do. When the student is done recording, they click Stop Recording. They can review their work by pressing Play. They can choose to start over if they don't like what they've recorded or submit their work to the teacher. Students can click View on Classroom in order to check out their work as a drive attachment to the right of their assignment on Google Classroom. Now that we've received the student's submission, it's time for us to leave some feedback. So we'll click on Classwork and access the assignment just like we would anything else on Google Classroom. When we click on the students that have turned the assignment in, we'll have access to their video recordings. To leave feedback, we can add a grade here out of the selected point value. We could choose to add a private comment here at the bottom, then click Post. On the right side, we could add a comment from our comment bank, or up at the top here with the speech bubble with a plus, we could also add a comment. Any of these ways will deliver the feedback directly to the student, just like it would with any other Google Classroom assignment. And remember, you can always leave video feedback by adding a comment and pasting a Screencastify watch page link in the comment box.